Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nock, and I just want to show you how to use this app called Cam Scanner. Now, this uh, this app is pretty darn cool because number one, it's free, and number two, you can take uh, several numbers of photos and make that into a one PDF file. And that's how I would like for you to submit your work from this point on, such as your homework, quizzes, and your exams. So I just want you to get used to uh, using this app. Um, anyways, I have an iPhone here, but it should work on other phone as well. Now, if you go to the app uh, store and I typed in cam scanner, and this is what I see on my phone at least. But what you want is this guy right here. It's called cam scanner. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open it and just show you what's it look like. Oops, <laughs> I already played with it, so um, some photos are saved in here already. But anyways, um, I did give you an instruction in Canvas uh, for you to submit as your quote-unquote your assignment. Don't worry, you're not going to get graded on it. I just want you to practice using it. Um, I think there are three photos that I want you to take and make that into a PDF file, which is I think number one was like take a selfie, number two... Uh, take a photo of the last math problem that you did or if you have not done your any math homework Now might be the time to start <laughs> Anyways, I want you to just take a photo of a math problem that you did and the third one was something like uh, What did I ask you? I think I asked you to take a photo of your spirit animal <laughs> Or take a photo of your favorite food or something like that. But anyways, I want you to take all those three photos and make that into one PDF file and post that on Canvas and send it to me, I guess. Um, but anyways, uh, if I open the, uh, the cam scanner app, this is what I see. Now, if I'm going to hit on the camera button here, you are ready to take some photos. Now, you see that at the bottom, I don't know if you can see this. I know this is pretty darn blurry. I apologize. But you should see uh, the icon says single and batch now i want you to take your photos if you're going to have more than one page uh, to submit i want you to use the batch icon batch means that you can take a uh, multiple number of photos and it will convert it into one single pdf file so um i don't know what i can take a photo of right now but um let me just do this maybe I could take a photo of my <laughs> the last math problem that I did and then what else what else can I take a photo of I don't know I don't know what this is I just found it when I was cleaning my office so I'm just gonna just take two photos for now all right and then after you're done just click on that ah, there you go now if I want to start from page one, here it is. Now, I don't know if you can see the little green lines around the, uh, the photo that I took. You can adjust the, um, the screen or I, how do you explain that? You can adjust what you want me to see, I guess. So in order to do that, you should see like a four circle buttons on the side on, the, on each corner. So you're going to have to hold that down and just drag it. So here it is. And then I'm going to say, all right, this is good to go. Oh, maybe I should fix that one too. I don't know. This looks all right, I think. Well, how do I fix that? <sighs> I'm, I'm new to this too, so. Oh, well, I'm just going to submit like that. Anyways, after you get to here, um, I, I always look at my PDF preview just to see uh, what's it look like and what you're submitting and if I scroll then everything should show up if you are using the batch icon all right and now I'm going to share and I don't know what you see on your phone but this is what I have I'm just gonna click on that and see what my other options are oh well um, so, but what I usually do is I usually save to cam scanner itself and it's going to save it under the cam scanner app. 
Now, maybe you are able to upload this directly to Canvas if you have your Canvas um, downloaded onto your phone. Or what I, what I did was I've also downloaded the same app Cam Scanner on my desktop computer or I should say my laptop. That's because that is the computer that I usually use. Uh, so after I did that, I was able to sync my phone and also the uh, what's on my Mac, or I should say my desktop computer, I could sync it so that way I can transfer this picture onto my desktop computer. And from there, I will just download the, uh, the PDF file onto my uh, computer. Then from there, I was able to upload um, my PDF file in Canvas. I don't know what's uh, the easiest way. I'm sure I'm, I might be doing this like the long, long way, but if you can uh, think of any shorter way to do it, please let me know. Now, um, I'm going to stop the phone activity here and then I will show you uh, what I see on my desktop computer in a second. All right, now here is my laptop and um, on the search bar, go to www.camscanner.com um, and you should see this page here. All right, um, and I've already uh, downloaded it. But anyways, uh, make sure to download it. And then if you want to sync it, make sure to use the same email address. So mine is lnakamura.miracosta.edu. That's what I registered uh, my phone with. So this is the email that I'm going to use again. And um, if I go to Docs, if I click on Docs, I don't know if you can see this. Ah, Sorry, you guys. Can you see that? Okay. So if I go to Docs, um, I've, uh, I created this uh, earlier, but do you see that? I don't see my uh, the photo that I just uploaded on my phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab that picture or the PDF file from my phone and transfer onto my desktop. All right, um, you guys, I need to set my <laughs> tablet down. So here we go. All right, so to do that, uh, go to settings and uh, you see, see the data transfer so I'm gonna click on that and um, cell phone so I'm just gonna type in my cell phone I typed it in once so it's it's gonna show up again and then put the password in I'm just gonna click on next and confirm all the documents in account 7144205290. Now you know my phone number. Please do not prank call me. Um, will be copied to the account elnakamura.miracosta.edu. So I'm just going to click on next. All right. So now it looks like data transfer completed. So I'm just going to go back to docs again, the documents. And here is the picture that I took with my phone with you guys. So here's my page one and here is my page two. And um, I don't know uh, if you can just go to Canvas and you know upload this directly from this app. But what I did was I downloaded it to my uh, computer I'm just going to do it as PDF because I'm only going to accept PDF files from this point on. Okay, and I'm going to go here. Ah, what the heck? Sorry. All right, now I'm going to go here. All right, so here it is. Okay, and I'm going to save that onto my desktop and I'm going to go log on to Canvas. Let me see. Okay, so I am going to just go into, I think I set up things for Math 155. I'm just going to go in here 
and um, I'm going to view this as you, which is the student view. Oh my goodness, is this like completely blurry? I am so sorry. Ah. All right, hopefully you can see this. Um, all right, now I'm viewing this screen as you, I guess. And um, if you go uh, click on the assignments, you should see this guy right here, practice uploading PDF files. Let me just move my iPad so you can see it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. And here are the instructions that's given to you. Um, I'm sure you can just read that. Uh, it says that uh, since I will be asking you to turn in all of your work in PDF files only, please practice by sending me a batch of photos which will be in PDF file by using the free app Cam Scanner. You can download this app onto your cell phone and you should be able to directly upload your file on Canvas under assignments. All right, but anyways, I'm sure you can just read that. And um, in order for you to uh, submit the assignment, uh, you should see this little icon called submit assignment. And then um, if you downloaded your file onto your computer, then this is not it. <laughs> Let me see, I think I saved it on my desktop. Oh, I didn't save it. But anyways, if you saved it, you should able to um, put your work in here. But I'm only asking to insert the PDF file. So if you don't put the PDF file in, you're gonna get rejected. So let me see. Let, let's, let me just plug it in math committee, math department committees. And that was in the PDF. So I should be able to submit it, but since I'm not a student, I don't know where it went. But um, anyways, uh, now if you messed it up, you think, and if you want to resubmit your assignment, you can do that by clicking on this and you can just resubmit. All right, now let me just um, pick something that is not a PDF file. So let me see. Do you wanna see my recipes? <laughs> All right, let's go with the chai butter cookies, but that's in docs. And if you do that, you will not attach it. It will say this file type is not allowed, except file type types are PDF. Okay, so if you try to submit that is not a PDF file, this is the message that you're gonna get. Anyways, um, I hope this helps a little bit. Um, I know that this is completely pain in the butt, but thank you so much for your patience and um, let's get through this together.